One of the things I really like about flashlights is that regardless of how much money you spend on your light, how cool it is, or how new it is, all that matters in the end is your technique. Let's look at one. All right, man, take a seat, buckle up. Ordinarily, we'd start with uh, orientation of the car here, but we got calls pending, and we got to get to them. So, we're rolling. We're going to have to learn on the way. All right, today, I... So, let's look at the difference between that lighting angles can make with searching for shell casings on the ground. So just uh, normal, empty shell casings from a 38 Special. Toss those on the ground. Let's say we're looking for casings. Where are they at? It's actually kind of hard to find them. Turn the light down a little bit. You can see them a little easier, but you kind of have to know where they're at. Going further away helps a slight bit, but let's see what happens when we change the angle. With the flashlight close to the ground, now the shell casings are really easy to find. You can see nice long shadows of them. Change the angle. And you can see, all right, there's a casing. Turn it down a little. There's a casing right up on top of them. There's a casing, there's a casing. There's a casing. When we take the light and we put it close to the ground and turn it on full blast, well, that makes it a lot easier. Long, long shadows. And the closer the light is to the ground, the longer the shadow is. Of course, this technique doesn't always work out so well if the shell casings happen to be on grass and that's where you're looking for them. But since most shootings on the streets happen literally on the streets, this technique comes in handy about 75% of the time. Well, if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe because there's a whole lot more to come. As soon as I uh, finish up these calls, go 10-8. County 291.